It mocks me, sotto voce, from the wardrobe. Out, it is a jazz of orange stripes. You wore it once to kick against convention, haven't put it on for years. It was a present from the woman we don't talk about. <laughs> I grip the scissors, slip the lower blade inside the silky point and press until my arm is fully stretched. Threads part, warp and weft in one long sweep. Facings and linings lie revealed. The sound is like a long-held sigh. What next? The old school falls in a blue-gold tangle. On top writhe regimental stripes. Tired of the lisp of silk, I reach for polyester, the company logoed red. The sibilance is higher. Knitted wool needs snips as deep as groans. This is a serenade for scissors. But what part for Harris Tweed? It's tough and growls as the right arm drops. Lapels show their teeth. Gabardine rasps from vent to nape. Linen has crunch. Waxed cloth whines. Now I need the purr of cashmere with its smell of some elusive thing I do not like. But it's Tuesday and the club, straight from the office, you're wearing it and won't be home till late. Well, I can wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Now I catch my smile in a shop window. I don't covet their allure or begrudge the busy clamour of their youth. But I must admit, I envy them their teeth. <laughs> <laughs>